the Harbor Freight mill uh, is, is very nice, but the vise that I have on it right now is not very nice. In fact, you can see that I have done a little personal machining on this vise and an effort to get it more accurate. One of the current issues is that the vise has a uh, little step down in here and that makes it difficult to accurately clamp in parts this way because they want to rotate a little in there. And so I'm trying to make two bars of aluminum that are parallel and square, you know, ideal. And after I get the two bars of aluminum, I should be able to use them as parallels in, in the future. And all of this, this other um, th these pieces here are tungsten from another project. I'm just using this larger piece of tungsten to cover up this gap so that I can set the aluminum bar on the tungsten. We know that the jaw is, is um, parallel or, or straight because earlier I actually took the end mill and cut along the side of the jaw. So the jaw is parallel to the tool And I don't necessarily trust that the uh, sides are 90 degrees. So what I want to do is, as best I can, keep the part parallel with the jaw. And so I, I just crush it up against the side of the jaw. Again, this didn't, this doesn't work um, without this tungsten piece underneath because then the part will. The, the jaw is not very large and the part will sort of fold and, and rotate when it gets into this little uh, the slot down here. I also want to add a eighth inch step down on this aluminum bar to match the eighth inch step in the vise. That way I can set the full size one in the step down and then I can put the other bar that I'm about to cut the eighth inch step, I can put that on the other side and I'll have, um, it'll be at the same level. I have the Z set to 125 thousandths down and I'm going to go ahead and take my eighth inch, my eighth inch pass. I, I want to do this fairly quickly. Eighth inch step down, and that carbide end mill sure is nice. Uh, obviously, a high speed steel will cut aluminum just fine, but carbide is just fun. Here are the bars in action. Let me show what's going on a little better. Because of this step down, if I just set the bars at the same, if I just put both bars in, oops and I try to lay my part on, you can 
can see that the part is going down about an eighth of an inch. But this bar here has a eighth inch step. And now it's parallel. This cheap vise is getting a little better each day that I work on it. Now, I'm going to be working on a piece of uh, acetyl plastic, and I, I was going to do this before, but I was having trouble getting everything aligned in the vise, and so I set out to make these bars. But now I should be able to clamp it in no problem. That should do it. Obviously the best is to start out with a good vise, but if you do have, if you, if you bought a cheaper vise and you're not happy with it, you can always machine, don't be afraid to machine the vise itself or make, make little parallels that, that work well with the vise. Thank you for watching. I hope that this was helpful. Please like and subscribe.